Litecoin price prediction 2022. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about Litecoin for early 2022. These are some of the key news I'm going to touch on in this video. I tweeted about it earlier. Some of the key news that I'm really looking forward to is that Litecoin increases in LTC addresses and the LTC MWEB update. I think this is quite a big update. This could make Litecoin potentially the most cash like cryptocurrency in the industry so those will be some of the key news also guys i'll share with you my price prediction where i see litecoin price going and finally i'll share with you my trade setup if you watch my previous video guys unlike other cryptocurrency channels i share with you exactly where i'm looking to buy and sell in this video i said my first buy is going to be at 100 dollars litecoin came into here and had a nice little bounce so i'll share with you an update on my previous trade setup and going forward what i'm looking for litecoin so guys before i look you start looking at all the news and updates from the project let's look at what's been going on with the litecoin price so litecoin broke above that key level uh, late you know early last year so 2021 uh, late 2020 and we had that crazy rally that was our first target which was previous all-time high that was our first target it was a really nice rally and that's when you know bitcoin start topping out bitcoin it had that sell-off and we've not really been trading Litecoin that much. Then Litecoin, we started getting bullish Litecoin when Litecoin came into here. We tr we rode Litecoin. We took our profit. You know, three hundred dollars was an amazing target. Again, watch this. Watch the previous video there. Came into here. It was a really nice target. Then Litecoin broke below. We got stopped out of our trades. And then Litecoin hasn't able to be trend changed. We were excited about Litecoin here early December last year. I was looking to buy Litecoin on a trend change above. We did not trend change and carried on breaking down. But now Litecoin has coming to a level I'm really interested in. Whether you know Litecoin bottoms out at $100 or not, I knew that Litecoin was going to get a bounce from my trading experience. Litecoin first video I made about 3-4 years ago now. It's one of the most popular coins on my channel guys. If you are interested in Litecoin, make sure you hit that like button guys. I was involved with the Litecoin Foundation project back in 2017-2018. We dealt with the Litepay drama. We had Charlie Lee selling his Litecoin. Litecoin halving rally. Which was an amazing, amazing pump. Um, so yeah, like because we're in a popular project, I tried to make a video a month on Litecoin. So hit that like button, guys, and, and subscribe to the channel. I'll carry on making Litecoin content. So this was our trade. Uh, so if you did buy that trade, take some profits. So I'm not say I didn't I didn't say that Litecoin was gonna bottom at hundred dollars. It can. That's why I bought some. But I also sold half. So I wanted to give you an update. I got about thirteen percent uh, trade from here. I sold just uh, below hundred ten on that spike, and when we broke below, I took half off, and I'm still holding the other trade as long as litecoin don't break below here so if litecoin starts breaking below like this i will exit that position and potentially look to buy cheaper but that's the update on trading litecoin from long term guys i'm pretty confident that litecoin is going to have another rally you know it's going to have another three four hundred percent rally whether it's from here whether it's from eighty dollars or potentially even sixty dollars i'm going those are the two next levels if hundred dollar fails those are the two next zones i'm going to look to buy but i'm pretty confident that litecoin will do another rally and the reason for that is you know uh, this is the tweet i'm going to go through each of in each of them individually so one of the first reasons is that you know how long litecoin has been around there's a theory uh, i've posted about this before something that lasts longer it lasts the longer it it's going to continue lasting i may i talked made the argument about dogecoin and litecoin is the same there's hundreds of coins that come and go but litecoin has been here since since the start um institutional investments you know uh, People talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. They don't talk about other cryptocurrencies. So Grayscale has got huge funds in Litecoin. PayPal adoption as well. And, and Litecoin is still driving Litepay adoption if you follow the Litecoin page They've got lots of uh, updates going on. They're always updating and they're trying to get more and more people coming in and adopting litecoin so it's bullish on litecoin there's some nfc news as well on litecoin but i need to do more research before i comment on that but litecoin you know litecoin has ex existed for 10 years and and litecoin is carrying on you know updating uh, the project trying to drive adoption and you know i think litecoin if if a currency is going to get adoption litecoin will be you know in a really strong position to get adoption and even if you compare it to bitcoin bitcoin is more of a store of value whereas litecoin the way Litecoin is built, it's more likely to succeed, uh, you know, due to hash rate, the algorithm it uses, 
to script algorithm is more likely to be a method of payment more so let's go back to the tweet so uh, like driving adoption ltc addresses i know litecoin is an old project it's not shiny and new but in a bear market i'm, I'm pretty confident that litecoin will perform way better than some of the newer cryptocurrencies and i've, I've tweeted about this before you know it's, it's had a million addresses just in you know seven days which is pretty which is pretty crazy to see you know there's you know how People are still interested in Litecoin. The Litecoin network continues to grow at a tremendous rate, rate, adding over a million addresses in the last week. So it just shows the interest in Litecoin is still continuing to grow. So again, if you want to follow it, follow my Twitter, guys, uh, Trader Rocco. Uh, follow my Twitter, but also follow Litecoin Foundation if you want to stay up to date with what's going on with Litecoin. Um, the next bit I want to talk about in a bit more detail is Litecoin MWEB. So this is the update that's going on for Litecoin and the, it's a battle to make Litecoin sound money. And um, this is going to make Litecoin more fungible. There's going to be more security features coming in. Uh, basically, you know, half a Litecoin, one Litecoin, you won't be able to differentiate it. And one unit of account is equal, exactly equal to another. For a full dollar bill is equivalent to another dollar bill. An ounce of gold is equal to another ounce of gold. Um, you know, Litecoin, you wouldn't know who spent it. So fungibility is a, a really good update Litecoin is bringing. And like I've said, they've always, you know, been bringing out updates. And I, I think Litecoin Mimble Wimble is one of the biggest, largest up, upgrade Litecoin network has seen. It's promising full fungibility, improving Litecoin scalability. If Litecoin can get adoption, it will be able to hold them with cheap fees. You know, there are other coins that you can use for uh, transferring uh, Bitcoin, but, you know, Back in the day, I'd use Litecoin to transfer my money. I'd sell my Bitcoin, Ethereum into Litecoin, transfer it, and then transfer it back to what I need it to. And, and Litecoin is improving the fungibility, scalability. So this is only going to help with what they're trying to do. There's obviously like, you know, minor signaling gone ahead. And January 2022, we're going to see most scalable, fungible cryptocurrencies ever. And may God have mercy on the fiat currencies of the world. So again, they're obviously trying to hype it up. I said I'm going to talk, I didn't want to talk too much about NFT. So I'll, maybe I want to need to learn a bit more before I talk to you guys. For now, my main my big upgrade is the MEB that i've uh, mentioned and you know meb is going to help m meb mweb is going to help litecoin become you know more mainly a cash you know the, uh, more of a cash uh cash like cryptocurrencies that there is so that's what they're uh, aiming to be it's also bringing the privacy uh, features as well which i think is important and if cryptocurrency succeeds um if, if there's really good adoption from the world, they might create their own cryptocurrency. So UK might create their own cryptocurrency. USA might create their own cryptocurrency. Lots of countries will create their own cryptocurrencies. Uh, and, you know, Bitcoin could be a foundation block towards that. But if countries turn against cryptocurrencies, this uh, privacy coins, you know, Monero, Zcash, they could be the leading cryptocurrencies. And if Litecoin has uh, the option or, or has that feature, it's going to really help uh, Litecoin. You know, MWB is an excellent start and a powerful step in the right direction. MWE, MWEB is optional so users don't want to they don't have to use it exchanges and wallets don't have to integrate MWEB although it is strongly recommended this is another important feature guys because I know there's in in the Litecoin community again I'm not as involved as I was I was part of the Litecoin foundation help with like marketing and helping people learn more about Litecoin back in the day um, but you know this is good you know when there's a big change there's always that arguments for and against with Litecoin MWEB some people are for it some people are against it so it's good to see that they, they have the option I, I'm actually for it we need to see you know, a development in the Litecoin community and I think this is a big step towards the fork going forward so that's another reason why I th I'm bullish on Litecoin so th those are the you know the reasons that I've given for the, the biggest reason for me is Litecoin halving 2023 and I'm pretty confident that Litecoin is going to get a big move, a big pump, uh, depending on what market cycle it is. It's, uh, it's probably going to be before it. So, you know, it's August 2023. So I think the pump will be potentially later on this year. And at the top, I'd expect it to happen around, you know, March, April time. Uh, that's when Litecoin top will happen. Hopefully it's in the depending on where Bitcoin is, it could be in I but the dream would be four figure Litecoin. That's what the dream is. And I'll probably sell all my Litecoin then and get out. I'm not sure what 
slight coins future is in a long 10 20 years time i'm more bullish on bitcoin ethereum and potentially some of the newer coins i've talked about you know in my twitter is people call me a lunatic but, you know those are the coins that i think could succeed in the long term unless litecoin does something absolutely crazy it blows us out the water drives adoption then yes i'll be bullish but my my thinking i'm more of a trader i'm looking to buy here i said the same thing you know i thought litecoin was going to bottom at 30 40 we dipped even lower and then we rallied i th i see this zone as similar to this zone i don't know whether it's going to bottom at 80 60 50 but i think this is a zone if you are bullish on litecoin this is a zone to be buying and we can sell you know litecoin from here it did a four or five hundred percent you know we'd look to sell like that again if we rally i mean this one if you if you if you held if you bought here as well which we did litecoin went two thousand percent a 10x trade so i'm ex i'm hoping for another move like that towards you know a thousand dollar level we'll see if it does but this is a zone we want to get in and this video will probably won't get many views people the views will come when I make videos or when it's already rallying. But, you know, as a trader or investor, you make money by buying down low. And I think Litecoin halving, we've seen it previously. There's videos on my channel. If you just type in Litecoin halving, you know, most channel would talk about cryptocurrency but they won't actually trade it live i actually traded this live and i actually sold the top as well you can check the date of when this video was made and i posted uh, when i sold as well and i'll probably try and do something similar as well i might get it wrong i might get it right my my theory is that litecoin is going to have another rally and if you believe in that look to accumulate you can look to just buy and hold some if you're more aggressive you can buy some like i've said you know sell in the bounds and look to buy back cheaper or if you're, you know, you're new to cryptocurrencies, you're not a, not a trader. You know, although I'm a trader and you know I run a trading group, the first thing I teach people is, you know, don't just jump in and out. Don't uh, say, you know, I'm going to buy this and sell this. Have a strategy and stick to it. So as a newbie, one strategy for you could be, you know, if you have if you're looking to buy ten thousand dollars worth of Litecoin, buy two thousand dollars worth of Litecoin now and have plans to buy, you know, three thousand here. And then if it comes to six to fifty, put all in. And then I'm pretty confident we're going to see a bounce. And at least even if you don't make money, you don't lose money. What I hear now, you know, people are messaging me about Luna. You know, we bought Luna at five dollars. And these are all documented trades. Go check out my Twitter. All my posts, uh, I've been documenting all my Luna trades from way before. If you type in Trader Rocco Luna five dollars, all the trades will come up. You know, you buy there, you buy cheap. Same as I'm telling you now about Litecoin. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually looking to trade um, Luna now. If Luna fails here i'm going to look, have to look to buy cheaper but i'm I, i'm pretty confident it's at his support where we can get a rally in luna i'm looking the same uh, for litecoin guys and let me know in your thought in the comment section below are you guys bullish on litecoin do you think litecoin is going to have that rally uh, that i'm talking about or do you think it will carry on breaking down but i'm pretty confident that litecoin halving will give us a, a rally in litecoin and then we'll see what happens we'll have to review see if the prices go up ch what charlie lee is doing with the project if there's litecoin adoption all these things we can review but for now that is my plan for the next year or so and you know plan might change uh, at the moment like i said if you're looking to invest that's how you can look to dollar cost average if you're trading so the way we're trading again if you are interested in the rockstar trading group guys for full strategies live streams telegram group we're also looking at you know gaming projects DeFi. if you are interested in all of that i'll leave the links below for you to check out it's not 40 bucks it's 30 bucks uh one spot left this month there's two days left if you are interested you can check us out so trading wise again we bought litecoin here i've sold on this dip i'm still holding half of litecoin and as long as we don't trend change below 96 i am happy to hold that trade another trade i'm looking at to buy is at the zone i have is 1314 if litecoin so the rocks are trading strategy we look for a trend change at key time frame support so a trend change would be something like this if we see that we're going to look to buy litecoin if you've been watching my channel as a litecoin fan since 2017 i'm pretty sure you know what my strategy is we'll look for something like this look to buy the dip target 120 and 135 so that's a short time from target write that down take a screenshot or come back to this video you can see if it's worked out or not i always if i get trades wrong i come back and say i've got it wrong if i get it right i will come back and also try and claim some glory like this video i made that prediction of buying like corner around hundred dollars which has given us a really nice bounce trade so that's Litecoin short time frame a longer term uh, Litecoin BTC is going to play an important role as well Litecoin BTC 
ATC is still just about holding that support. That's why I said uh, Litecoin could get a rally, but we've not really trend changed. And I've touched on this before. If Litecoin cleanly breaks below this, I'll probably get out. And um, that this is probably the most important Litecoin chart. If you are, um, you know, trading in the rocks or trading group, you know, our best trades happen when the altcoin is breaking out with Bitcoin and also we seeing big rally in, in the USD pair as well. So Litecoin halving rally. But once we broke support, we, we, we had some uh, short term bounces, but they've always been really bearish. And this is the level. These are the cycle lows. You know, if you watch my Dogecoin prediction video, we literally traded the Dogecoin bottom. I'm really confident in Litecoin here now. I'm happy with, you know, one or two dips, but I want to see trend change. If this happens and Litecoin holds $100, Litecoin MWEB uh, news gets traction, gets adoption. With Litecoin halving a, a year away, we could start that rally. So those are the few things I'm looking at. Write these down. So Litecoin BTC holding, you know, 2600 uh, to 3000 level and trend changing above on the daily weekly time frames. Litecoin above $100. And hopefully we can start putting a bottoming and start the next leg higher. Um, again, I try to not get too much hope here, Mark. Could Litecoin be doing something similar? So if we get rid of all the drawing, you know, we had a lower high here, almost a lower high or double bottom and rallied up. Could we do something like here, uh, that, uh, a double bottom type of thing at the weekly weekly 200 moving average and start rallying higher that is what i'm looking at now if it starts trend changing below 100 i'll get out i'd look to buy back cheaper but longer term these this is the level to buy again so if you're more of an investor you like the project again not financial advice you can start accumulating some again we not we might not catch the bottom so you know we started buying Litecoin here we were about you know 73 months we're down or going sideways and then we got that big trade so that's what i'm looking at now that's how my trade set up let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. First question is, what do you think about the Litecoin MWEB update? What do you, do you think Litecoin is going to pump during the next Litecoin halving? We've seen rallies in the previous Litecoin halving and I'm pretty confident we're going to see another one. And finally, what's your price prediction for Litecoin? Do you think Litecoin will, could get back up to $1,000? What's your thoughts on this tweet? Comment below on, in the tweets, Twitter or comment below down uh, on the YouTube video and let's have a discussion. So thank you very much, guys. And like I've said, if you, are, if you want more Litecoin videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. It motivates us to create more Litecoin content. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go Litecoin.